previously on Dance Moms. This week we have three solos. Kendall, Nia, Chloe. I'm looking for the child who can be my Maddie when Maddie's not here. I need the other girls to show me that they have what it takes. Get out what you put in. Looks like Kendall might be the lead. I think the garbage needs to be taken out, and I think that starts with you. OK, Sarah, you're finished. Goodbye. I can't do it. I'm sorry, honey. Who has what it takes to be number one? The highest protein sold. Not just another protein sold. Coming up on Dance Moms, choreographer's cut. Have you all welcome Jade? Jade, you will be performing a solo. Everybody is in the group routine. I just don't know what we're doing yet. She has no dance. Why are you laughing at me? Because I think you're ridiculous. She hasn't done an acrobatic routine since she was eight years old. Why are you sitting here silent then? Why didn't you tell her that? I'm she, not the teacher the here. Well, I'm sitting here going, did I make the right decision? You don't want Jade on the team? I'm definitely questioning it. Jade. With Maddie's star on the rise, she could be called away at any moment for a music video or a photo shoot. So I need to be able to grab any one of the girls from the select team to fill Maddie's spot. So this week, I've invited Jade to join the elite team. I want to see if she's a good fit. How about you moms? Have you welcomed Lori back? Yes, they have. I don't want moms that are useless. I want moms that I respect that respect me. After dealing with that lunatic last week, Christy, I wanted to bring somebody back that was classy and sophisticated. And Lori is all of those things. She owns two successful dance studios. Besides her daughter, Jade, she is a national title winner at gazillion different competitions. Now, Jade, you weren't with us last week. The girls won. Congratulations. <laughs> Powerhouse dance competition. We were the overall high score winning group. All right, let's get to the pyramid. On the bottom, Chloe, you were second in the competition. You know how I feel about second. That's the first one to lose. It's tough getting to the top, but it's even tougher staying there. And next, Nia. You made it into the top five. You were fourth. I was kind of hoping for one, two, and three. Next, we have Mackenzie. Mackenzie, do I think you could stand up a little straighter and taller? Absolutely. Am I going to stay on your back? Absolutely. And Maddie, you were great in the group dance. And more importantly, you were on the Ellen Show. Yay! And you've done interviews with The New Yorker, Seventeen Magazine, Time, and Billboard, and MTV are all a buzz about Maddie. Ever since Maddie starred in the Sia video, it's been insane. Her career has really taken off, and it's just getting better. At the top of the pyramid is Kendall. <laughs> you did it. You won the overall high score. You shouldn't feel like, oh, I won. Now I can take it easy. It doesn't work that way. Now I need to push myself further. Like Maddie, understood? I've said all along, Abby, give her the opportunity. Give her the chance. She had Maddie trying to get that solo back. Abby all along said, this is Maddie's solo. So what? Give it to Kendall. She'll nail it. And she did. This week, we are attending Imagine Dance Challenge in Woodbridge, Virginia. This is a brand new competition from Gary Pate, the director of Star Power. So you know there are going to be a ton of kids there and really good kids, including Studio Blue. I know that Studio Blue 
is the best of the best in the Virginia area. And unfortunately, we have lost to Studio Blue in the past. Fourth place is at number 26, Arabian Nights. And that tops hot from our elite junior small group division of competition belongs to act number 47, Studio Blue. They're going to be waiting for us, and they're going to be ready. They're out for blood. Now, I had a brilliant idea about a group number that I've been wanting to do for some time. But since we're going to Woodbridge, Virginia, and all these amazing studios are going to be there, I don't think we're going to do that number this week. I hate to break it to you girls, I don't think we're really going to win. People are out to get the Abbey Lee Dance Company. I don't want to waste it going to the competition and get beat hands down. It's too important to me. Right in the middle of the pyramid, I thought twice about doing this dance. I think we should save it for nationals. It is going to be really good, and it's very controversial. So I'm going to shelve it, and I'm coming up with something new for this week. So everybody is in the group routine. I just don't know what we're doing yet. Abby's never done this before. You know, to go into a competition totally unprepared with no idea what we're performing, it's nuts, even by Abby's standard. Jade, you will be performing a solo. The title of your solo is Far East. My other solo will be going to Chloe. There's a piece of music called They Don't Want My Kind Around Here. And it's dark. Both of you are going to be up against a lot of good kids. I can't wait to watch Jade do this piece. She wants to prove to Abby, I deserve to be here. I deserve to stay here. My kid's ready to do this. I think we're good. All right, let's go. What are you looking for so that I can? I have no idea. The number that I wanted to do is amazing. But there are over 100 numbers in the competition. They're doing numbers that they have done for six, eight, 10 months. So you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. I usually have the group routine planned out weeks in advance, sometimes even months. It takes a long time to decide on the music, to order the costumes, but I've always taught my dancers to be on their toes. You have to be ready for anything. I just have to figure out what we're going to do. I don't have a theme, I don't have music, I don't have a clue. A lot of standing around going on in there. Yeah, what I is mean, going we've on? We've been in here, in That's there. because she has no dance. What is she going to choreograph? She has no music. We should do the number she planned on doing. She brought Jade in here. She obviously had a great idea. Let's do it. I came all this way. I left my two studios. I want her in this fabulous number that she's talking about. It's obvious Abby's worried oh, about clearly. who we're going to see. I think it's obvious. Now, why does Studio Blue wig her out? Have they beaten her before? They're amazing. Oh, yeah. They're amazing. Oh, yeah. Abby, you're afraid of Studio Blue, and you don't want to give our kids a really good routine. You don't want to put our best foot forward, so then you have an excuse when we lose. Girls, I need you to line up for me, just like right here. What about phobias? The piece could be, what are you afraid of? People are afraid of heights. People are afraid of small places. What are you really afraid of? I'm just afraid of being by myself, like, in the dark. Alone. In a room. Yes, alone. Chloe, go ahead. What were you going to say? I'm afraid of speaking in public. Speaking in public. I'm afraid of books. OK, perfect. Now we're getting somewhere. What are you afraid of? Uh, really big crowds. Crowds, OK. I'm afraid of needles. Like getting a shot at the doctor? Well, I'm afraid of heights. So. OK, good. That works. I think the biggest phobia any of those kids have in that room is Abby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're too afraid to say it. They need to ask Abby what she's afraid of. Losing. Studio Blue. Abby thinks so highly of Studio Blue that she nixed our great number she was going to put together for us and is basically running scared. She's afraid of them. All right, spread apart once, guys. Spread apart. I want you to tell me, in 16 counts, what you are afraid of. Chloe, you're first. You are afraid of speaking in public. Go. One, two, 
I'm having the girls improv. I want to see them act out their phobias. Maybe I can use some of this for inspiration for the choreography. I think it's rather irritating that when Abby brought in the new team, Cameron was Chloe's head to head. Right. Chloe did her job. She danced against Cameron, she beat her, and now she has to go against Jade. Like, it's just irritating to me that it's always her. Your daughter is 15 years old, my daughter is 12. Why can't it be someone else? Nia's a month younger. I have Nia to go up against her. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, But maybe she thinks that she's the closest one score-wise to go up against No, she Jay. doesn't. She would clearly pick Maddie to do that. What I'm saying is you could take that as a positive, and Abby's putting you against these kids because yeah. she knows you're a strong dancer, no. Chloe. Instead no. of you sit here and done what I've done for 103 weeks, and then you can talk to me. Well, I'm just saying, as a mom, that's what I'd do for Jade. Oh, then you're a better mom than me, too. Good no, you. I never said that. I never <laughs> you just said did. That. Mackenzie, you're afraid of bugs. Bugs fly in the air, bugs crawl on the ground, bugs sting you. Ready? Come on out. Face the mirrors. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, she ran out of the room. That was her improv. She ran away from the spider. <laughs> Look, Maddie's yelling at her. Six, seven, eight. Trying to force the gear. Oh, poor thing. Fourteen. Why are you 15. laughing at Because I think you're ridiculous. Go. Get out of here. Go sit up the stairs with your mother. I don't know what to do. Oh, well. Kenzie, honey, because it was cute. You ran out of the room like you were afraid of spiders. I, but don't she yell. laughed at me because I wasn't doing anything because I don't know what to do. How do you have the number one video in the country on iTunes and that you can't pretend there's a bug? You go in there and you show her what you're Stop capable coming. of. It's ridiculous. Yes. OK? Mom, I'm a kid. I'm allowed to do this. I know Abby's right. If she's going to be Matt Z, pop star, she really needs to toughen up a little bit and get some thicker skin. You cried about doing an improvisational acting skill. But you love to You don't think people laugh at me every day? You don't think people make fun of me? Get over yourself. You are officially benched from this routine, and you have to sit on the bench. Jade is doing a routine entitled Far East. It's mysterious. It's flirtatious. Something her mother would never give her. I want to see Jade out on the stage doing this gorgeous acrobatic work that she does. She is flawless when it comes to executing those tricks. And then do something with your legs. It's beautiful, OK? Then take it and devil pay it out. I like the whole theme. Far East, Jade really looks the part. She's got it. Like fifth. Nice. I question an acro solo because a competition the judges either love or hate acro. Jay hasn't done an acrobatic routine since she was eight years old. Oh, she's not even sitting up here. She's in the studio. I think that's a um, professional courtesy. I'm assuming that um, that Jade's been here all day learning and perfecting her solo. Oh, I'm so sure. I'm just assuming. Well, isn't this nice? You know, we walk into the studio, and Jade and Lori are in there learning Jade solo. And we haven't started solos yet, so once again, Chloe's at a disadvantage. Abby's been waiting to get her hands on Jade. Her mother's her friend. Like, she's not choreographing anything. OK, they've stellar. known each other for years. It doesn't hurt us to be nice to her, since she is such good friends with Abby. She might find out more about Abby's plans for the select ensemble. I don't know. It can't hurt. Lori could actually be very beneficial this week, because Abby values her opinion. Chloe's doing a contemporary piece, and it's entitled, They Don't Want My Kind Around Here. Now, I'm sure her mother, Christy, is going to take that as some big hidden message. It's just a cool song, and we like the music. 
But if Christy doesn't want to be here anymore, <laughs> there's the door. She's not even watching, so. If you don't want to spend the time doing another solo, then don't assign it. If it's going to just be a throwaway number, save yourself the job. Like, you don't have to do it. Abby stacks the deck completely against Chloe. Like, if she ever does win, it's in spite of Abby, not because of her. Creating a group competition routine from scratch just a few days before the competition is crazy. Nobody does that. It took me the entire first day just to figure out what I was going to do. And I'm choreographing the routine right now, on the spot. Stop, stop. We need Nia facing the audience more. Like, we needed this on an angle slightly. I don't have a title yet, but I know my theme is fears and phobias. I have music, but I'm just worried about time, because that is something that I don't have a lot of. It's running out fast. So, Kenzie, is she in or out of the dance? Abby said if she wants a junior number, she's in. If she wants a teen number, she's out. Well, of course she's going to want a junior number. I don't know about that. I would think she'd want a junior number. I would think she wants a junior number, okay, too. Well, oh, but if Studio Blues uh -huh. compete in junior, she's going to make it a teen. Yep. Abby has proven herself to be very calculating. She knows exactly what she's doing by benching Mackenzie. She doesn't want to dance in the junior group because Studio Blue knows that we compete as juniors, and she thinks that she's going to get one up on them by competing in a teen division. Abby would rather risk us dancing against all those teen dance teams than just play fair and square and have us dance against Studio Blue's junior team. Picking and choosing who's going to be in a group number just so she could win in a certain age category is wrong. That's like manipulating the system. Girls, we're getting somewhere with this. I like the concept, but it's going to be you. It's going to be your acting. Do the judges get what it's about? If they don't get it, you're not going to win. I'm running upstairs to talk to the moms about the age divisions here. So can you keep going? All right. Hello. Oh, hey. So aren't you worried that our kids are going to be teens? Well, there's over 100 numbers there. There's going to be a lot of teens that are amazing. Why can't you just I put Mackenzie in? She's benched. What she did was just ridiculous. She made a mistake. She screwed up. She took the wrong But that's path. your choice. Now they're not going to be in the juniors. That was a moment to shine, to step out there in the middle and blow everybody away at an audition. And that's not what she did. She choked. I think that Abby is using Mackenzie's crying as an excuse to strategically take her out of the group number so that we don't compete against Studio Blue. As a teacher, you never want to put a group higher. You always want to put them lower. Why are you sitting here silent then? Why didn't you tell her that? It's she, not my place. She, I'm not well, the teacher true, here. Chloe, are you excited for your solo? Mm -hmm. You like your solo? Mm -hmm. Even though Jay is like a little older than you, don't I'm worry. Amazing. You're amazing too. You did a lot. My head-to-head -head competition this week is Jade because she's also doing a solo, so it's gonna be pretty tough. <laughs> did you finish your solo? Yeah. Yeah, are, are you close to half done? How much do you have done? Probably a little bit less than half. Well, I mean, it's just hard because I feel like I'm always going against the new people no matter what age they are. I mean, she's 15 and I'm 12, so it's a little bit unfair, I guess. Just so stay positive and, you know, you, you never know, you might beat her. Arms! It's the third and final day of rehearsals, but I finally have a dance. It's called There's Nothing to Fear but fear itself. This is a contemporary routine. It's about a group of girls who are confronting their fears. What's my biggest fear? <laughs> That's easy, losing. 
I just hope Abby's whole plan with pulling Mackenzie out to put us in the teen and not against the juniors, I hope that doesn't backfire. Who wants to be in the teen group if you can help right. it? Not right, not I. Exactly. Or if they catch wind that we're teens, they can pluck out those two little kids that go in the back like, hey, 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 and make it a teen. Uh-huh. That's right. Abby is putting all of her eggs in one basket. I mean, she's totally banking on the fact that Studio Blue's only gonna have a junior dance. Abby's trying to outmaneuver Studio Blue instead of just focusing on the girls and getting them ready for competition. This is it. You've won twice in a row, right? We beat the Crab Apples. We won last week. I feel like this is the time when we needed to be tough. We need to step it up. Maybe it's time, you know, you went up against a lot of really good kids. Maybe you need to realize there's a whole big bad world out there and they're coming to get you. See ya. Virginia at the Imagine National Dance Challenge, there's amazing dancers here, including Studio Blue. This is their home turf, and Abby has done all these little sneaky maneuvers trying to keep us out of their sight, but you never know, anything can happen on competition day. So Abby, is Studio Blue competing wow. as a junior or a teen? They're in a competing group with our kids. But that group is not competing against our group. Yes. Is that what you're saying? They're teens. The group will be competing as teens. Come on. They're not ready to dance with kids that are 17, 18 years old. My kids are not at that level yet. But they can blame that on Mackenzie for acting like a brat. Do you think, looking at the program now, that it was a smart choice to move up to teen? You know what? I've been trying to get online to do some banking, and I didn't really. She's not engaged, and so I don't know why we even bother. Let me think about that. Abby can't even look us in the eye and admit that she made a mistake. Not only do we have to dance in a very difficult teen division, now we're dancing against the team that Abby was trying to avoid, Studio Blue. Well, let's give them the best chance then. And the best chance is in the junior category. Right. Absolutely. We all know that. I think you have the most credibility because you are a dance teacher, you're a colleague. If you were to say something like that, coming from you, that has clout. If she can convince Abby to put Kinsey back in a group dance, we might actually have a chance of winning. Abby, can I talk to teacher to teacher? Can I talk to you teacher to teacher? Would you consider putting Mackenzie back in? If Lori can convince Abby to put Mackenzie back into the group, it will lower her age to the junior age division because there's no way, there's not a chance to beat Studio Blue teen group. Lori, I am just exhausted dealing with moms and problems and psychos. I just feel like finally, I am in a position where I'm going to put my foot down. And if a kid acts up, I am sticking to my rules. They need to realize, hey, there's really good kids out there. I need to step my game up. Abby's too stubborn to admit that her plan has backfired. And now it's the girls that are going to have to pay the price for her bad decision. All right, see you guys out there. Let's do this. Not only is Chloe going up against Jade, who is clearly older than she is, but there's a lot of talent in Woodbridge, Virginia. And these Studio Blue girls, they're really gonna give Chloe a run for her money. So she needs to be confident, step on stage, and give it her all if she even stands a chance. Please welcome next to your imagined stage, put your hands together for Jade, competing for title this century, 45, Far East. What's your number four, five for title? This is Jade's very first solo with Abby. It's an acro routine, and she hasn't done one for a very long time. She needs to pull this off and show Abby that she can tackle anything that she throws at her.
Jay did not disappoint in her ALDC solo debut. Chloe needs to show Abby that she can throw as many new dancers as she wants at Chloe. Chloe can take it. She's used to it. Please welcome next to your Imagine stage, the Century 41. They don't want my kind around here. Please welcome next to your Imagine stage, the trans together for Chloe competing for title the Century 41. Once again, it's Chloe that's going up against Abby's favorite new dancer of the week. So Chloe really just needs to go out there, ignore all of that junk that Abby throws at her, and show her that she is a great dancer and a great kid. Maybe Abby will finally realize that. Getting lost in a ghost town Abandoned sides all turn brown Feel the frost in a ghost town They don't want my kind around Prophets up a high percent Now we are irrelevant Artists, punks, and single moms Gentrified no denying that Jade is a beautiful technical dancer. She's also 15 years old, but when Chloe's on stage, it might not be as technically flawless as Jade, but you feel something when you watch her, and her solo was amazing. Girls, you know you're dancing in the teen division. That was my decision. I benched Mackenzie. It changes your age, the average age. You deal with it. Think about your phobia. Think about what you are afraid of. This has been a tough competition season so far. We've lost twice to the select team, and we almost lost to Kathy a couple weeks ago. Let's go. If we beat Studio Blue, this will prove to Abby that the elite team is her best team. You have to remember, Studio Blue has a reputation at Abby Lee Dance Company, and we want to keep it, OK? She'd be lucky to have any of you guys on her team. You have it all going for you, OK? But you need to leave it all on the dance floor. We want to come out number one again. Yes? All right, let's do it, guys.
Studio Blue kids were amazing. But of course they were. They're like twice our kids' age. It's like David and Goliath. Now our girls have to follow them. They have to give their best performance ever if they stand a chance at all in beating them. 112, nothing to fear but fear itself. dancing against bigger, stronger, older dancers. But if anyone can pull off a miracle, it's our kids. They've done it time and time again. I just hope this is one of those times. It's not so bad doubts about this group dance but when I see our girls on stage it's magical they are an amazing team of dancers attention that she gave Jade no time. If Abby really wanted Chloe to have a shot at, I don't know, the top three, she would have given her this much more attention. Third place overall champion, ladies and gentlemen. Jade, number 45. I'm disappointed with Jade's placement third place in the overalls. Obviously, Acro was not the way to go, Abby. Your highest scoring overall 12 to 14 solo today is... Emily. And your season. See you again, Sam. Congratulations. Take the back, girls. We just got killed in the solo competition. I'm praying that my girls can beat them where it really counts, in the group competition. We may be smaller and younger, don't count us out. Now, our top three overall. Your third place champion is... 
disappointed with Jade's placement. Jade has a reputation out in competition world, and it's it's not third place. You know, if the competition rules would have been 10 to 12, 13 to 15, you'd have been at the top of that age group. But regardless, you're going to get older, and you have to get better. Chloe, you were? Yeah, around six. Good. Congratulations. Jade, what were you? Third. I'm not happy with it. I'm used to Jade scoring much higher than that. I'm wondering if she should have even done something else instead of acro, because she went from first all year to now third. It's a little tough around here when your kid doesn't win, isn't it, Lori? I expect her to win like she does at my studio. Well, that's doubting my choreography. It's my teaching. It's my lessons. She didn't win with you. So I'm sitting here going, did I make the right decision? I, I have to be honest. I'm, I'm questioning that now. Are you saying that you don't want Jade on the team? Uh, I'm definitely questioning it. That's your prerogative. It's your daughter. If that was it and that's our only time together, so be it. I don't know. Maybe it was the best thing that ever happened to her. If you want to be here and be a part of the Avenue Dance Company, then you play by my rules. Otherwise, take Jade back. There's lots of kids that want her spot. Ladies, I need to start thinking about nationals. Next on Dance Moms, nationals are coming up, and they're coming quickly. Who will be on that team? This team is supposed to lose. You did not give me the benefit yes. of the doubt. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Chloe, take a step over here. They're just mad it wasn't their daughter that right. was chosen. Don't kick the prop. I see. Your kids' arms are horrendous. Will this performance determine who's going to come back, possibly? No child of mine has ever had that happen. 